Meredith Gorman here at Gillette Stadium with Dakota Randall. The Patriots had another day of practice ahead of the Colts game. And the funny thing about this matchup this weekend is both of these teams coming off a of bye week very late yep. in the season. What kind of benefit will that bring both of these teams? Well, it benefits both teams, and I think especially Patriots. Uh, the Patriots, this bye arrives at a great time. They got a lot of older players on that defense, so it's great for them to be able to get a rest. But also some of the rookies, Mac Jones, Christian Barmore, Ramondre Stevenson, all play key roles, and they've played a lot of football this season, a lot more than they played last year at college. And, of course, the bye week also benefits injured players, Damian Harris, Adrian Phillips, both banged up in the game over the Buffaloes, so it's great for them to get a rest too. Absolutely, and a lot of the guys this week have spoken about Jonathan Taylor. Bill Belichick has as well. Yep. The Colts running back is a favorite for NFL MVP right now. He brings a lot to the offense. So between him and the rest of the offense as a whole, what will this Patriots defense have in their hands? Well, it definitely starts with slowing down Jonathan Taylor, and Naheem Hines also is a decent running back for them too. So it again, it starts there. But for the Patriots, this is the first time they're going to have faced a, a passing attack with all their weapons healthy uh, and no caveats, no wind up in the, up near 50 miles an hour, no sub-freezing temperature. So this is a real test. Uh, th there's nothing that anybody can say after this. And, and I mean, I think a lot of people debate whether Carson Wentz is a good quarterback. I think he's pretty good. I think he's athletic. And I also think Colts head coach Frank Reich, listen, he, he is largely responsible for what happened in that Super Bowl against the Philadelphia Eagles a few years ago. He knows how to coach against this Patriots defense. Patriots defense, a lot more talent than they had back then. But that's a big challenge for them. I think the, the entire Colts offense, not Jonathan Taylor, uh, is a lot for the Patriots to deal with. And Mac Jones and the Patriots offense will have to go up against this Colts defense that has been really good at capitalizing on their opportunities, forcing turnovers, a whole bunch of stuff out there. So, I mean, what are they going to have in store? on Sunday against that defense. Well, you mentioned it. Colts defense gets a lot of turnovers, but they really have two players in particular that I think are very good. Forrest Buckner up front is a force, and so is Darius Lander, the linebacker. He might be one of the best linebackers in the game. Some people think he is the best middle linebacker in football, so those are two really good players. For the Patriots, I think the Colts are especially weak at safety. If the Patriots can find a way to really go after them, uh, I think they could have a lot of success, and so it's going to put a lot on Mac Jones, but I, I think he'll be up to the task because the Colts defense, while talented and while they do have some good players, I think is flawed, so I don't think it's a huge challenge for the Patriots. Thanks, Dakota. Yeah, a Saturday night game this week. Kind of fun, a little bit yeah. different. I'm looking forward to the Colts game, and once again, thanks for joining me.